Hello and welcome guys, welcome back to our XCOM 2 War of the Chosen series. This is episode 16, I believe, and this is episode Wolf Valley. Uh, welcome back. Um, this mission is a neutralized food commander mission. We, it's, uh, as the game says, a moderate mission. And the rewards are Dr. Vasily Vorobyov, an engineer. Also, I do suspect that we may find the assassin here. It's been a while since we last saw her and we are inside her territory. Could happen. Uh, we do not have a Reaper anymore, so we don't have that bonus damage, but we do have the new weapons. I'm going to talk about uh, the new weapons during the loading time. Uh, and uh, one little change that I did here, uh, more for like uh, lore reasons, I gave uh, Zoe a shotgun. She feels uh, really good with that weapon, and uh, as for Angie here, actually let me do something that I want to do. I've been went, I've been wanting to do that for quite some time. Mm. Under bar, under barrel, Illyrium thrower. We could give a shotgun or an Illyrium thrower or a grenade launcher for um, Angie. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to test the Illyrian uh, thrower. Maybe given a... Uh, yeah, but, but I, I think a uh, grenade launcher would be would be uh, most most beneficial for him. So he has one grenade in case he need, he really needs it. Yeah. And then we can give uh, make a really good rifle. Give a scope as well. See, that's a good rifle. So he has bonus accuracy and he can uh, use a grenade which is pretty good. I don't think that we have any ammo items left to give him. So yeah, I think this should be it. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we should be good for the mission now. Um, all the rest looks solid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could give the tracers for Angie's instead. Considering that... Um, yeah, but... She doesn't have the best of aims either. So yeah, I think uh, tracers are fine for uh, Zoe here. So yeah, I, I think this is how we are going to roll with it. Yeah, yeah, we have plenty of explosives, shredding damage all around. Let's do this. <sighs> Feels good having mag weapons, dude. Feels great. Finally. Spend some time. And we have been toying with uh, conventional weapons while we were supposed to already have mags. We could have rushed them, but you know, you know how it goes. So speaking of which, mag weapons have been acquired. So after all the time that we spent on researching them, on fabricating them, a lot of stuff has happened. We lost Brismov and we lost Dassels. And uh, before that, we already had lost um, Riley as well. Um, we've been having like losses on this campaign. And uh, on each new loss, the climate goes. It becomes more colder and uh, like difficult aboard the Avenger. But even so, even with that struggle, relationships continue to build. People get closer to one another. And the uh, ones, all the soldiers that were once just that, soldiers that barely knew each other, the more time passes, the more they, be, they become acquainted, the more they become friends, 
the more they become valued comrades and of course the more we feel their losses when they go but with this little buff that we got with mag weapons finally ready for the first time in a long time XCOM has a renewed purpose, a renewed energy, a renewed drive to go through the missions. And with that drive, the commander wishes the people that are going and the ones that stay behind an amazing campaign ahead. Because now we feel powerful again. We feel capable again, we feel on pair with our enemies again. This is a perfect timing for a good mission. And that's what we're going for here. Let's do this. I would really love a flawless here. <laughs> it seems so difficult now. But if the assassin doesn't show up, then we have a good chance. If the assassin does show up, then she could always hinder our plans. She does have that ability. Okay, something came up. I'm going to make a really quick cut here because I need to get up real quick. Give me one minute, I'll probably edit this out. Just one minute. Okay, 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 here we are. We're back, sorry for that. I had to make a quick cut here because I had to do something real quick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, um... Uh, where should we start? Uh, maybe Julie. Let's see if Julie sees something. Confirmed. Okay. Nothing. The map is pretty standard. Uh, what about? Can something make to the to that wall over there? Not really. I think I will dash um, Zoe there. Maybe here, even? Well, first off, I'm going to dash someone into this wall. Maybe Anji? Yeah, I think... I think Anji? Okay, we do see something. Oh! Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Look at that. Uh, Zoe... Grab the full cover. Please tell me there's a reason we're poking. Yeah, there is. <laughs> um, Amancia could grab a position close to her, really. And uh, Christmas here. We'll grab the full cover. And as for Julie. We'll grab the high ground for uh, her advantage to quick kick in. In case we end up fighting these guys, that is. It would be really cool if we could uh, break the bridge and make them fall. Like insta killing them. A we'll, uh, bit overpowered, yes. But that would be really convenient. Um. Hmm. What should we do here? Do we have any uh, sit traps? Locate field commander because I don't see the timing. Do we have a uh, that sit trap with the time and stuff? Because I don't see the timer. 
There should have been a, a timer, right? To kill the goodie. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm messing up. There's no timer. Not not for now, at least. So... We have a better position for Julie. And uh, let's try to reposition our guys here as well. I'm going to... Probably move Zoe closer a little bit. Then we can move Angie to the full cover. And then Amancia. Yeah, we could even. Uh, maybe we should try and locate the commander first. I think I will move Amancia a little bit towards the side. See if we get a glimpse of another pod, or maybe even the commander if we're lucky. And uh, for safety reasons, I'm going to keep uh, Angie close to her in case we end up needing, in case she finds something uh, unprepared. Okay, they're moving towards this direction as well, which is good, because we already have a few soldiers ready to face them towards this area. And uh, there it is. It's a bio-general. Okay. Target identity confirmed. And he has two advanced biotroopers with him. We won't get another shot at this. Okay, this is good. We do need to uh, kill the Berserker uh, off first. But uh, now that we know where the general is, this could be really good. Um, yeah. I think we could even start fighting with these guys already. We could outright kill this guy. Do some damage to the abductor. Oh, it's an abductor! Now that I realized. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Julie can kill the. Uh, can start killing the duelist right now. She could do some damage to the berserker. Should we start with her or should we start with someone else? We could throw a grenade. We could throw a rocket, but I think a rocket is kind of it's kind of like a um, not gonna call a waste, but feels unnecessary. If we move here, can we flame all these guys? Going. Uh, sorta? Kinda? Yes, we can. We totally can. Okay, okay, okay. Um, first off, I need to take Amancia out of there so she cannot see the other pod. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to move Amancia here so she cannot see the other pod, which is perfect. So we don't trigger. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to start. No overwatches. We're going to adapt. Uh, as needed. We're going to burn these guys and then we decide what to do next. You want a piece of this? See what happens. Okay, Duelist dies alright. The Berserker is burning. I think. I don't know if the Abductor is burning. Seems like it. Yeah, it's burning. Both of them are burning. Okay. Now, here's the thing Julie has amazing shots from up top, especially against the Berserker. Uh, we could air a lockdown with Mancia. She has good shots against the Abductor and against the Berserker. Um, we have hip fire and possibly a normal shot or a grenade with uh, Anji. We have grenade with uh, Zoe that could even expose the Sectoid if this balcony here uh, thing is breakable. I think it is. It should be. That seems like a good idea. Can I grab a better piece of cover to do it? Probably. Yeah, that's that seems like a decent idea. We could, we will destroy the barrels as well. We'll give um, Julie a better shot against the sectoid uh, if we want to as well. All in all, good idea.
Okay, four damage against the Berserker is really good. That guy is in range, doesn't matter. Uh, how do my shots look like? If I roll minimal damage, I don't kill the Sector Abductor, but I can roll 5 or 6 and kill it, and I have a 40% crit chance. I'm going for it. Never mind, I'm going to roll uh, the lowest possible damage. Fuck that. <laughs> My god, that's so annoying. Uh, now we only have Anji and uh, Amansa to deal with that fucking... You know what, I'm going to area lockdown this. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll take uh, Anji's turn first. Okay, what can Anji do to have the most effect here? What do my son of shotguns look like? Son of shots. Not that great. But it, they would do a lot of damage. They could hip fire this. He's burning, he can't do his psionic shit while he's burning, right? He he can only shoot and he will not shoot all that. Uh, he will not be that good shooting. So maybe we should try and kill this guy. Let's go for a hip fire here. 7 damage, that's pretty good. Then we can... We could go for a point blank here with 76% or we could go for a guaranteed shot. It would give plus 5 to 7 damage, then a Munsa can shoot at him. And, uh, and he still has movement, so he could even grab a full cover position. Then we could fire this guy. 5 damage, good. Then Amansa is already in full cover, so this guy won't have good shots, he is burning, I don't think he can use his side shit while he is burning. So this is a good opportunity for Amansa to just um, shoot at the Berserker, then hopefully we roll high, and then the burning damage does the rest necessary to kill it on one turn. She's going to miss an 88 and leave us in a very bad situation. Well, the abductor is dead. This thing is not. It doesn't have great accuracy, uh, especially since it's melee, and melee is like low-key bad. Okay, he, he won't be, even be able to attack, honestly. You'll have to dash. Yeah, fuck it. It doesn't matter. Okay, the general shows itself. Hello, my friend. You are the target. We're not in a in the best position possible to take him, but uh, Julie, can you finish this guy off? No, you are deci decisively running low. So this guy has one HP, right? Okay, so he's going to take one more uh, tick of damage, so he's going to die from the burning. So, can we throw a rocket against the general? We could. We could totally do it. But I think I will set um, Blind Eye for a better turn, uh, placing her close. Closer, that is. We could even... Oh, she doesn't have vision. Well, we're Overwatch. And I think Amansa will go for an area lockdown against those guys. Uh, Anji could grab this position. Full cover. Uh, we could use a grenade to expose this guy. We could, we could. Let's check our other uh, opportunities here. Um, we have a full cover here with Dulcer. Do we have a grenade? Not really. We do have sort of a shot against the Berserker. We could kill him to give to grant the XP for Zoe. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move um, Amansi here. I'm on the move. And I'm going to save the grenade for Anji. It has 90%. We could just. 90%, 62 against that guy. He's in low cover. 79, 9%. Yeah, that's not happening. You know what? I'm going uh, going to give the XP for Zoe if possible. Yeah, she. That thing is dead. Then I'm going to area lockdown this. I can have all three of them, but I can have this general area here, which is which sounds pretty good for me. So we're gonna do that. Then we're going to Overwatch with NG as well. If they move, they're going to take a few shots. If they don't, they then they will stay in place and be easier targets for us. Okay, we missed. No big deal. That is not good. Okay, he shoots, he misses. Full cover working. Incoming fire. Okay, that guy's moving. And he's taking 5 damage. Casually. Is he still alive? Oh, he's a bio faceless. That's cool. Annoying, but cool. Okay, area look now, no, Angie. Miss with 34, okay. Amancia? Missing too. Oh man, I wish Amancia had a, a stock. I don't think we even have a stock. Okay, 37. Um, Blind Eye should have a good position now to throw a rocket against this, these guys. And that would be a great rocket too. Yeah, I'm totally doing it. I'm going to throw like more or less more closer to the general, so in case she misses, she still catches the general because it's the most important. Yeah. Okay. We hit all three of them, and the the cover for the general is completely gone. Um, we would have vision for from the general here, and it's a half cover. It's a full cover. The shots will not be great, but yeah, 47, but uh, still, we don't have any auto targeting or anything, so might as well take the shot. Okay, missing. Never mind. Uh, Amansi needs to reload, and then she can probably area lock now again. That would be really good. Um... Hmm. I need to move to get vision. Still no grenades. 49% is a crappy shot, a coin flip, but... We hit! Never mind! We hit for 12 damage! A guy is almost dead! Uh, we could even guarantee the- no, we can't guarantee the kill. It's silly me. We cannot. Uh, I think I'm going to reload with Anji here. And then we're going to just shoot the general in the face. Yeah. Nice kill, Anji. Good job. Very nice. We could, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to make Amancia go for a, oh, uh, area lockdown is in cooldown. Uh... Should we move? I mean, we have an 86% against this guy, we could even kill him. I think it's... Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Yeah. Okay. We're we're safe. We're safe. You can just shoot at this guy and. Yeah, he's not dead yet, but it's on his way. Uh, what does NG have? Oh yeah, he has implacable. That's right. That's completely right. Mm. We could. I think I'm going to send him like here, just so he opens he opens up this cover option for the others, for Zoe especially. He's out of vision, and uh, Zoe has a better cover option. This guy is moving and shooting. Against Zoe, which is in uh, half cover, it makes sense. He's missing, thank god. Uh, this guy is going to move, but he doesn't have the mobility enough to hit us, so he'll just dash. Uh, he's going for NG. Okay, um... I don't have hip fire yet, because I could hip fire and then, uh... You could just explode this guy. Starts to go. Okay, uh, I don't think he can. He will like explode in gas or something like the lost brutes do. I'm not sure, but I ex I'm not expecting it. Yeah, fuck you. Twenty-five damage. Twenty-five fucking damage. Holy shit. Um. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, Julie will grab the full cover here. On my way. I am going to. Can I throw a grenade at that guy? Yes, I can. It would even guarantee to kill. Do I want to guarantee to kill with a grenade? Does he have loot? No, he does not. So I think, yeah, we should guarantee to kill, I think. Fuck you. I'm not joking around here. Yeah. No fucks given. I don't want to move too much ahead. I don't want to trigger another bot just yet. All the enemies are dead, right? We're still hearing combat music for some reason, but... I know there's another bot, of course. But... We didn't trigger them, so I don't understand why we're hearing combat music. Whatever. To Overwatch. Going to reload. Julie has been a, a little underwhelming this mission, and there is the last spot. Arkham Warrior. Okay, we're seeing a lot of new enemies here. And uh, the Archon Warrior is uh, an annoying enemy to deal with. Get out of here. Okay. We could area lock down this. It is a possibility. We have explosives with Zoe. Uh, we could uh, try and open, get a, a better vision of those guys. We could move and then use the flamethrower with um, uh, Blind Eye there. We could search for the uh, high ground advantage with Juliana, but we would, need, we, we, we would need to deal with this guy first. And we don't have, here's the thing, we don't have a lot of good cover options from where we are. I have more than enough range, but I cannot target both of them. But I could target inside. What if... Yeah, we have to move Julie first. Could flashbang these guys, honestly, from uh, up top.
could flashbang from here, maybe? Yeah, we could flashbang from here, even. Oh, yeah. Decisions, decisions. That's what this game is all about. I think I'm going to move to the high ground with Julie here. This is a good position. She has high cover against... Oh, yeah! That's a new enemy we have as well. His positioning is annoying because he's flanking us right now. So... And, uh, yeah, we have to deal with him. We will flashbang all these three, if possible. I don't know if the Archon is vulnerable to that or not, but we are going to try regardless. So, flashbang all those three. Take a good look. Okay, I think the Archon is disoriented as well, right? Yeah, he totally is. Okay, we need to deal with uh, this rat right here, right now. And he's in full cover, which is annoying. So... Blind Eye has a good shot against it. Even She could even go for melee here. It does say it's 100%. I do not trust it. But uh, we also have hip fire and uh, a grenade here. We have a grenade with Zoe. But I think the, uh, Zoe's grenade would be better used against all those three. And um, honestly, I think I'll, I'll take a hip fire with Anji. And then I'll probably throw a grenade against this guy right here. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, first, let's see, do I want to move? Mm, yes, but after the hip fire. So 75 against this guy. Or do I throw the grenade first? I think I'll throw the grenade first, right? It makes sense. So he's going to be in uh, half cover, but it is what it is. I cannot throw a grenade against the both the Archon and the both the Archon and the other two enemies, but I can throw a grenade against those two and uh, hopefully open the walls a little bit. Or should I focus on the Archon? Should I focus on the Archon? Well, we could hit the Archon and remove the cover for the, for the Sectoid. That would shred the armor, that would expose the Sectoid, make it move, make it have to move. Right? Okay, I removed the armor for the Archon pretty good. Now Zoe has had her turn. Now I can move I still have the hip fire. 75, 72. I'm going for the hip fire on the Archon. Okay, and I need to know why I have. Why do I have that information popping up for me? Why do I have the information about the shot showing up on the screen? If some if someone of you guys know why that's happening, please tell me. Um I'm going to shred the armor. Do some damage against this guy. Very nice. Uh, 
now the question is, can I kill this guy? Uh, if I roll a 5, then yes. Should we try to? It's 4 or 5 damage, 20% crit. And if we fire... It's 5 to 7 damage, that seems more likely, right? It seems more likely that we can kill it with the with a normal shot. It's a hundred percent, yeah. Okay, Marauders out. Uh, I think Amansa's positioning is pretty good, honestly, and I think, or maybe we should just, we could uh, go a bit closer and go for a area lockdown. Yes, she is uh, under. Uh, half cover, but she would impose penalties against this guy, uh, those guys, she would have shots against them. Uh, she does have three ammo, so pretty much one shot against each one of them. Yeah. Shot one. Did we hit? Shot two. Miss. That was a coin flip. Full cover. Disoriented. Yes, you miss. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Sectoid, shot three. Come on, Amancia. That's a hit. That's a hit. Overwatch. Okay. Where's the Arkham, though? I feel like I kind of need to... Hit a sack right now to break the overwatch. I don't have explosives anymore. I could try and break the overwatch. That guy is still disoriented. If I move here I could even flank the sack eye. Yeah I think I'm, I'm going to break the overwatch here with the blind eye. No? Okay we're not breaking the overwatch. Forget it. Blind eye can you kill this guy? You totally can. You amazing redhead. Love you. Um, then, yeah. Can we get a vision of the Arkham Warrior, though? That would be really good. We could move uh, Zoe closer and uh, shoot the, dis uh, the solid hit with the shotgun. Maybe get a glimpse of the Warrior. 94, she could even kill. Yeah, totally dead. That one was ugly anyway. Oh, now the question is, where's the fucking Archon Warrior? I think I'm going to keep... Uh, I think I'm going to keep uh, Insider here for a good Overwatch. Or, alternatively, we could troll the Battle Scanner to see if we find Son of a Bitch. And then go for the Overwatch. Yeah, there he is. There he is. I see you, motherfucker. So Overwatch. Amansia needs to reload, unfortunately. Then she can go for her own Overwatch. Uh, there's no way I can get vision of that guy. So instead, we're going to move and set up our third Overwatch. Hopefully, we can. He has 4 HP, hopefully we can hit him with with some of our overwatches. Come on, Anji. Anji hits, but he dodges. We still have two overwatches left. Amansa kills it. Okay, Julie missed, but Amansa got him. <laughs> we so deserve the flawless, dude. We so deserved it. Holy shit. Uh, that was really good. Wait, 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 what? 10 out of 11 en enemies killed? Why? Eleven enemies? Huh. Never mind. 
I don't even want to think about it. Uh, Amansa has her own photo, thanks. Where's Amansa's photo? Where's Amansia's photo? Yes. Thank you. Anji, the MVP. Got two kills, but very good accuracy, a lot of damage. Assists all around. Zoe, three kills for a blind eye. Very good. Excellent mission, dude. That was an excellent mission. Now, for the first time in a very long time, we're doing a... We're doing a... Uh, mission photo. It's been some time since we last did one. Yeah, I knew it. Bad locations all around. Okay, now we got a good location going. I like that Zoe is like facing the other side. We're going to... No. Going for a paper fact here. And then, yeah. Good enough. <sighs> okay, okay. Flawless mission. That was... Dude, we so... Like, deserve this. Like, we deserve the flawless so much after all the shit we've been through. Oh, man. Feels great. And also, the fact that we got the flawless just as we got the mag weapons, the difference that the mag weapons made, dude. We couldn't have gotten that flawless without the mag weapons, I don't think. But we did miss some crucial shots. Uh, Julie was a bit underwhelming on this mission. She underperformed a bit. But, still got it. Flawless nonetheless, I'm not complaining. You will not hear me complain about a flawless. Oh man, she's great. We are. Can we get a few promos? I would very much be happy about those if we can get one. We can get two promos, okay. Blind Eye has been promoted. Uh, she has Roost, she has Abatid Armor, um, two extra HP. And 50% less damage from explosive attacks. That's really good. The range of your rockets increased by 8 tiles, and you may hit targets beyond your visual range. Uh, javelin rockets is really, really, really interesting. Forces enemies to change position. This is useful sometimes, and sometimes it's not. It really depends. It's a difficult skill to use. I think we we could play safe and give her the Ableton armor. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play safe with a uh, blind eye. And uh, let's promote Zoe. She has heavy ordnance. Uh, one bonus use for any damaging grenade. So if we have like. Um, a grenade uh, slot on her grenade only, she gets one more use on that. Center mass, she does one more damage with her weapon. And protector, any known damage grenade in your grenade only slot gets one bonus use. So bonus use for damaging, bonus use for known damaging. I think heavy ordnance fits her the best, having an extra grenade. She's like the or explosive gal. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this looks good. We got Core, Laser Sign, uh, BCS, Alien Alloys, Bio General, Bio Faceless. We got a uh, Marauder. And uh, yeah, Arkham Warrior as well. Pretty good. Berserker Autopsy, Arkham Warrior Autopsy, Bio Faceless Autopsy, Bio General Autopsy. Really good. Have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today. Really good. Uh, work. I think we should hit the Juicecape right away. Uh, Avatar Project is a little bit high. I don't like it, but we're going to hit the Black Site and uh, there's a facility here that we can reach. We're going to hit the black site real soon, and uh, let's we'll try to lower the after project through dark events as uh, through covered ops as well. So we'll do that. Let's go for grenade and ammo. Avenger plotting new course. Proving, Proving grounds is ready. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That opens up so much for us. Whew. That that opens up so much stuff. Uh, advanced upgrade, experimental ammo, experimental heavy weapon, uh, and we could hatch a fit stuff. So yeah, I think this what uh, those do is that. Um, since we have the Proving Grounds over how, I think what this does is it takes 15 days, but after that we gain a project to get, um, like if we need Talon Rounds, we just go ahead and do and build them. If we if we really, uh, if we need like uh, Red Screen Rounds, we go ahead and do them. Like we can choose, after we do this project, we can choose and fabricate each ammo uh, type um, separately. And we can also do that for grenades. Uh, experimental heavy weapon. Yeah, this is for the um, rocket launcher. We could go skull jack. What should we do first? What should we do first? Hmm. I think I'm going for experimental ammo first. So this will open. Yeah, we, we can even uh, leave an engineer here to help uh, the the progress make the progress quicker. And uh, we still have one engineer available. I think we can start to clear uh, some of the debris out. Right? We should have an, uh, an engineer. Yes, we do. Or alternatively, alternatively, we could uh, staff an engineer here to make the... Wait. Oh, I don't think we can right now. Or can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. Seven days. If we staff an engineer here, it's five days. Yeah, an engineer will, could help. I think I'm going to for now do that because the next thing that I want to um, dig is this. I really need to dig this to get the extra power. So I'm going to take an engineer here to make our covered ops faster. We need to halt the other project if we can uh, next time once the, this resistance op uh, finishes. And uh, once it finishes as well, we will have three uh, resistance cards, which is pretty good. <sighs> okay, we are going to keep going for this. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. One more facility. Multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. Hunter uh, got some knowledge. We can have chrysalids on the missions now, which is annoying. 
One frost grenade and one falcon rounds. This is what I'm talking about. It was so worth it. So worth it. Uh, to be time to fuse this round to explode near enemies and do plus two damage. Uh, one falcon rounds minute. Wait. Time to fuse rounds explode when near enemies and do plus two damage. I don't know how these work, but I'm happy for having them. Resistance contest. We can get another contact. We could get intel. But we do have a lot of intel. We could visit the black market real quick to see what the black market has available. Uh, rush research. House remaining research time. This could be really good for us. Supplies. Inial allies. This seems really good. Let's keep this in mind. We'll wait for that for now. Uh, let's make contact, I think. Then we can uh, build the tower and get the bonus for this continent already. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to make contact here. Then you know, we can build one more tower and uh, have the continent bonus. We can't establish any new contacts. Amber got wounded. God damn it. Casualties during that last covert action, Commander. But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. We've learned another piece of information about the show. It's pretty good. Can you please give me the one that uh, reduces after project? No, you cannot. Our influence with the resistance factions is <sighs> to share some new information on the chosen. We might be forced to go to that facility where there's a uh, alien ruler. You might be forced to go there. That's annoying. Eighteen ability points. Eighteen ability points. We could recruit a reaper. Um, wait, let's send a, a soldier to recruit the reaper for us. Good send Eli. gonna take some time since uh, before we can uh, grab the predator armor to upgrade her blades as well and uh, we are going to send get send Petra Who does Eli have good combat with? She could uh, bond with Aris. She could bond with. Oh, we could send Aris as well, right? Yeah, let's send Aris along with Eli here. Sounds good. Yeah, well, let's recruit a Reaper. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. <sighs> okay, uh, let's visit the Armory. We have a few promotions. Well, we have a promotion, that is. As soon as the game decides to load, that is. Okay, we can promote our Akimbo. We can get Trick Shot, which is good to passing cover. Trigger Guard. It's all melee attacks while doing winning firearms or Light Shot. 
think I'm going to grab Trick Shot here. And then let me check something. Um, yeah, if Isabel and Emmer go to the same mission, they will bond, like for sure. It's good. It's good. We may be forced to go to hit that facility, dude. Because after project is almost going off. Yeah. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Twenty-five days. To slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, we're almost out of time. The Avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're gonna slow the Elder's progress is by destroying one of their facilities. How much time do we have until we have uh, Gaul's weapons? Three days. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit Gaul's weapons. Then we're gonna hit the um, black side. First, of course, we're going to go uh, to this mission. Okay. Let's build a team. We have automated defenses, robotic enemies. So you know what that means. You know who's going. How's our spark doing? Four HP, still gravely wounded. We could take him and just spend a, a healing at the start. But I feel we would be better taking uh, other people. Is this a shanty mission? Temporary. This is not the perfect mission for a sniper, I don't think. But we could take Arn and and uh, Caitlyn. So we use Caitlyn would be really good on this mission. She has the haywire protocol, and she can half stuff stuff as well. So I think I'm going to take Caitlyn. I'm going to take Tinker Cake here. I'm going to take Arn. And I think this should be a good opportunity. Let's take Isabel. Let's form another bond here. Let's take Isabel. And let's take Ember. Let's make another bond happen here. Is this an easy mission or is this the This is a difficult mission. Yeah, we shouldn't. We I don't think we should joke around here on this mission. I think we, we need to go for broke. This is probably assassin uh, mission as well. We should try and go for like a strong team here. We could even we could grab both uh, our assault rolls here, or even another extra action shenanigans with those two. Yeah. Okay, uh, also I think we can build the har let, let me check on the Harbinger rifle real quick. Where's the Harbinger rifle? Like, here, here. Let's take a look at that. So this is 4 to 6 damage. How does the Harbinger rifle look like? It's 5 to 6. It's, it's not like um, a mag rifle, but it's a good rifle. Plus it looks sick. Really good, huh? But then uh, Arn would lose the superior scope, which is annoying. So I think he will keep the, the scope for now. Of course he's going to grab his pistol. He's going to have these rounds with plus two damage and cannot be dodged by enemies. Makes sense to give R on that. Makes sense. Uh, then, oh, of course. Uh, let's do that on his ammo slot. I think he can have a nano scale nano scale vest and then for his grenade we could give him a flashbang grenade. Sounds good. 
Uh, then let's go Nelson. I think he can have the shotgun. Uh, then. 14 mobility, 12, 12, 11 mobility. So yeah, Joshua needs the nano scale, the uh, ultra light vest. Then I'll give both Joshua and um, and Bruce here the tracers because they are going to fire a lot on this mission. Then of course Bruce can have the nano scale vest. He can have a normal grenade, yes, normal grenade here as well. Then we can have, um, I think we'll have the frost grenade on Nelson. Should we give Nelson the A piece? I think I'll give Nelson the A piece, I think he should be shooting more. And of course, he's going to have the nano skill vest as well. Then I could give Tinker Kate that mag rifle with all that stuff. And I'm going to give her a mad kit. She's going to use a nano skill vest. Uh, or maybe not Tinker Kate. Let's give Tinker Kate like a. Yeah, let's make her to a more like supportive role in this mission. She will have the uh, medikit, and she'll get the uh, scanner mag for bonus mobility. So she has 14 mobility with that, and then we can give um, Bruce. How much mobility does he, he has? 14 mobility, so he has pretty good mobility. So let's uh, give him that mag rifle with all that stuff. And then we. There's 14 here as well. Is Bruce the one that has like run and gun? He is. Okay, so maybe we could give Bruce a shotgun. For this mission, and then we can give that rifle to Joshua instead. Hold the target there, then a pistol here. Yeah, seems good. Check the PCSs. Uh... After a shot misses. Uh same is dodged by 25 or high level. Yeah, but I'm using the ammo that makes so I can't uh, they cannot dodge my shots. So yeah, I think this should be it. This should be a good team for the mission. Uh hopefully Orun gets a promotion after this. I'm not sure if he can. How's the situation promotion where it is? Uh, I can't see the XP. It's probably right on my face, but I can't see it. <laughs> well, regardless. I hope he gets a promotion. I don't think he can, but let's hope so. I think this is the team for the mission. Uh, Nelson, Tinkercade, Arm, uh, Bruce, and Joshua. This should be the, uh, the, a good uh, team for this mission. Again, we have mag weapons all around. Auron's the only one that doesn't, but he does have a good ammo to make up for it, and he's powerful nonetheless with all uh, the skills he has. So, yeah, I think this should be it. Should be it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave that comment on the comment section below. That log, I really like. I really love to read those. Uh, smash the like button helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This is Duma. I'm Sunny Young. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Much love.